Hi, my name is Jason Hennessy and I'm one of the founders here at Everspark Interactive. And today, I'd like to talk to you about what happens when you do a search on Google. One of the first things to understand when you do a Google search is that you aren't actually searching the web. Instead, what you're doing is searching Google's index of the web. You see, Google crawls the web with software programs that they refer to as spiders. These spiders begin fetching pages on the web and then what happens is they follow the links that are located on these pages to locate and index new pages. And then they look at the links on those pages and follow those too. And then they look at more links and more links and more links and some more links, resulting in billions of pages getting indexed and stored across thousands of computers located in large data centers all over the world. Now suppose I wanted to buy a toy for my son. I can go to Google and type in, say, baby toys. And then I hit enter. What happens next is pretty fascinating. The Google algorithm searches their index to find every single page that includes these search terms. In this case, there are hundreds of thousands of documents within their index, also known as the search results, that contain the words baby and toys. How does Google decide which document I should see? By looking at over 200 different variables and asking questions like, how many times does this page contain the keywords? Do the keywords appear in the URL, in the title tag, the header tags? What about the body copy of the page? Does the page contain synonyms for these words? Is this page from a quality and trusted source, or is it a low quality spammy site? How old is the domain that this page is on? When was it first registered? How long into the future is the domain registered? How fast did it take this page to load? What is the page rank of this page? That is a patented formula invented by founders of Google, Larry Page and Sergey Brin, that rates a web page importance by looking at how many outside links point to it and how important these links are. Finally, Google then combines all of these factors together to produce each page's overall score and sends us back our search results in only a half a second after we submit it. Pretty amazing, huh? Now let's take a closer look at the search query that really exposes the Google algorithm. If you were to go to Google and type in the words, click here and press enter, you will notice that the Adobe Reader download page ranks pretty high on the first page. One would think, what does the Adobe Reader download page have to do with click here? Well, as I stated earlier, Google is nothing more than a mathematical algorithm that relies on hundreds of signals pertaining to two things, relevance and popularity. In this example, the relevance score is extremely low. Nowhere on this page or in the source code does it mention the words, click here. Okay, now let's peel another layer from the onion and look closer at the popularity of this page. First, using the SEO book toolbar, I can tell that this page has a page rank of 10. There are about a dozen or so pages on the web that have a page rank score of 10. Even Google itself has a page rank score of 9. Okay, now let's look at the amount of backlinks that are pointing back to this page. Using a third-party tool, I can tell that this site has almost 14 million backlinks. However, what's more important is the total number of referring domains, which looks to be 217,000 at the time of this recording. So what does that mean? 14 million backlinks from 217,000 referring domains. Let's look at the US Treasury website. Way down here in the footer, you see this link that says Adobe Reader? If you click on it, it's going to take you to the Adobe Reader download page that we are studying. By doing a site search command, we see that the Treasury Gov site has 436,000 pages indexed on Google. Each of these pages all contain a link back to the download page. So this would equal 436,000 backlinks from one referring domain. 
It is more important to increase the amount of relevant referring domains than it is to increase the overall number of backlinks. So now let's look at the next signal that Google looks at, the anchor text. Anchor text is the words and phrases that you use when hyperlinking to another page. Google uses this as a signal to really understand the relevance of the link of the preceding page. In the early example, the anchor text here would simply be Adobe Reader. But not everyone in the world uses Adobe Reader when linking to this page. In fact, 221,000 people use the anchor text click here. Over 75,000 people use the anchor text click here to download Adobe Reader. And over 6,000 people just use the anchor text click here to download. As you can see, many people across the world use different variations of the words click here when linking back to the Adobe Reader download page. So back to our original search query and case study. When typing in click here on Google, the algorithm quickly looks at the most relevant and most popular document to display back to the user. If there are over a half a million links on the web that link back to this page, containing some different variation of the words click and here as the anchor text? Well, Google is mathematically fooled into believing that this page is very relevant and popular and it matches my search query. Therefore, spits it back to me in just seconds. I hope that is a big aha moment for you. Links are the currency online. So the question is, what are you doing to strategically build links, aka popularity, back to your site. Thanks for watching. I hope this video made the Google algorithm a little bit more understandable for you.